Great. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Jennifer Bonert, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the NCAR GIS program. In particular, I'm going to be focusing on some of our achievements over the last year that led to us winning the 2015 UCAR um, Outstanding Achievement Award in Education and Outreach. So GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. And GIS is a specialized information system based on uh, storing, analyzing, and visualizing geographically referenced data. The goal of the NCAR GIS program is to use GIS as an analytical tool um, in the atmospheric sciences. We're a small group. We've got Olga Wilhelmi, Kevin Sanson, Ben Domenico, and myself. We use GIS in a lot of different ways here at NCAR. Here's an example of just a couple ways GIS is being used. It's being used to identify urban heat islands. It's being used to visualize uh, plume dispersions, view the impacts of extreme weather, as well as view of Zika risk in the US. We have three main focus areas. The first is the integration of natural and social sciences. In this focus area, we develop research frameworks and spatial methods for integrating diverse data sets, both qualitative and quantitative. Our second focus area is the usability of climate data. Here we develop tools and facilitate the use of NCAR models in GIS. We also work with international organizations to improve interoperability of common atmospheric data formats. Our third focus area is capacity building. Here we offer workshops, colloquias, and training programs, all that integrate scientific data and knowledge for risk assessment, decision making, and mapping. In 2015, the uh, GIS program won the UCAR Outstanding Achievement Award in Education and Outreach. I'm going to be spending the rest of this talk talking about our accomplishments which led to this award. So we've developed a set of online training modules. These modules are intended to bridge the gap between the atmospheric sciences and GIS. We already have over 500 registered users, and we've taught this course at both AMS and a few times here at NCAR during some workshops. We also offer a BRIGHT workshop series. BRIGHT stands for Broadening Participation in the Interdisciplinary Geosciences, Hands-On Training and Education. Here we conduct workshops that focus on the integration of atmospheric science and data with traditional GIS to facilitate interoperability and um, interdisciplinary research. We also have worked on the publication of this edited volume called Mapping and Modeling Weather and Climate in GIS. This is the first of its kind edited volume documenting use cases of how weather and climate are being used, um, are using GIS. We also led the Atmo GIS Special Interest Group. Through working with this group, we were able to work with Esri, the leading GIS company, in order to start reading NetCDF natively in its tools. Through this development, climate models, weather forecasts can now be brought into GIS tools and overlaid with traditional GIS data, such as infrastructure and land characteristics and socioeconomic data, in order to perform more integrated research. By integrating these different data sets together, we're also able to perform more multidisciplinary research in areas such as extreme heat, drought, tropical storms, security, and disease, just to name a few. In fact, now that NetCDF can be read into GIS tools, we have opened up our science to over 4 million GIS users. This includes local governments, public health, urban planners, utilities, and the agricultural sector, just to name a few. We've also built some web-based applications to get climate model data into the hands of non-atmospheric users. This is a screenshot of our GIS climate change scenario portal. This portal has been live since 2005. Through this portal, users can come in and download AR4 and AR5 data as text files or shape files. This map shows where our registered users for that portal reside. We currently have over 11,000 registered users from over 200 countries. A few years ago, we also decided to develop a climate inspector. The climate inspector allows users to explore AR5 climate simulations through space and time. This is a very interactive web portal where users can click on the map and then view temporal trends for their area of interest. A few additional applications have been developed based on the climate inspector. We've developed an extreme heat climate inspector, and actually NASA contacted us, asked for our code so that they could develop their own visualization tool based on the climate inspector. So with that, I would like to thank you. Please visit our website to learn more about us. 
play around with our climate inspector. Uh, email us at GIS Support. Follow us on Twitter. And thank you for your time.